Hey gang, Jack Allaire here, uh, just with a pickups video covering most of January. This is going to kind of go back to uh, my last pickups video and catch you on a few things that I just found. I'm pretty sure there are one or two more things that I have since uh, misplaced because I've been doing a lot of things, but I did uh, find some things. Well, let's go ahead and just kind of hop through them. Uh, Nintendo 64 game, don't know if I ever showed it to you guys. Uh, Blues Brothers 2000 was there for $3, $2.92. $2 um, also, for the same price, up on the PlayStation, Toy Story 2. Picked this up mainly for my son. He's got a TV that has a PS2 hooked up to it, so he can play it whenever he wants. Um, uh, my mom actually, uh, while we were walking through uh, Best Buy while she was here for the holidays, uh, bought me Unit 13 for the Vita. Uh, as you guys probably know if you watch my channel for any length of time, I'm not a real fan of uh, shooters, but this one is kind of fun. And uh, one of my other pickups for the Vita, which I can't really show you because there's no box, which is Spelunky. If you hate yourself, that is the game to play. Uh, let's go with uh, DS games. I actually got two. One, I got Silly Bands. I don't know what I was thinking. It was real cheap on Amazon. And it comes with the game. It comes with a little packet of the Silly Bands. If you haven't seen these, they're rubber bands that are in weird shapes like cars and dinosaurs and unicorns. Uh, the game is actually okay. Nothing to write home about, but it's not bad. And uh, in a Goodwill, I found this, which is the box for the Sonic Classic Collections. And of course, the wrong game was in there, so I have a, a box that has the manual as well as a little safety warning. So if anybody needs it, go ahead and let me know. Um, but the game that was actually in there uh, is Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. Now I bought one of the toys for this a million years ago just because I wanted to see what it was and it was a blind bag on sale. But I have not gotten a chance to play it yet. Uh, I'm currently playing through the demo for Etrian Odyssey, The Millennium Girl, and I really like it so far. It's, it's scratching that that itch. I love the fact that I have to draw the map myself. I know it sounds dumb, but I kind of like it. Because my map doesn't make sense to anybody else. Uh, also for the 3DS, I picked this up fairly cheap. This is The Hidden. Uh, it is essentially where you go around and hunt ghosts an augmented reality game, or ARG. I hate that name. Um, let's go ahead and hop over to the Wii. Now, GameStop has been just slashing prices, slashing, slashing prices. And I went in there and just basically grabbed anything I could, mainly because if nothing else, I can use the case for it later on because the Wii cases are white and they're not as easy to get a hold of. So, uh, go play Lumberjacks. Don't know. Gingerbread Man, which sounds like it could have been a cool game, but in fact it wasn't. This isn't in a Wii case, but hey. Eh. Uh, Rock and Roll Adventures, which I believe I watched uh, Jeff Gersman from Giant Bomb play at some point, but those were all a dollar. Uh, these next two were not, but I have... Um, uh, kind of getting hooked on some some gaming companies and Atlas is one of them so I picked up a Trauma Center New Blood and Trauma Center Second Opinion I'll be playing through these once I get a chance uh, right now I'm doing my finishing up my dust playthrough uh, I believe we've got a few more nights of that and then that's done um, my co-worker we have a secret stand at work and she got me uh, an Amazon gift card, and I was able to pick up PlayStation, what is it? PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, and it had the code in there that I could play it on the Vita as well, so I guess I got three Vita games. 
this is actually a really fun game. Uh, my my son and I sat and played it for a while. It was it was pretty cool. Uh, the I picked up uh, Sports Champion because I have never played this before and I always wanted to give it a shot. I have a move controller. I have the PlayStation I. And that's what the PS3 one was called. I just wanted to give it a shot. So I picked up that one. And I also got this one, which is Enslaved Journey to the West. Now, I knew, I knew nothing about this game going in, other than a lot of people really liked it, and a lot of people really didn't. So far, I'm liking it. It is a third-person action-adventure game, that is telling a really weird story along the way, and it's kind of twisted, and I think it's going to end really, really badly for everybody. For everybody, but... Um, and the last thing that I picked up was because I knew that it was going away. My friend purchased it on Steam and then watched it disappear, and that was Deadpool. So I picked up the PlayStation 3 version, because PlayStation 3 is my console of choice and decided to give it a go. But I know that all of the Marvel games have been pulled off of Steam, they've been pulled off of PSN, Xbox. Uh, they've been pulled off of everywhere. And I wanted to get a copy of Deadpool before it disappeared forever. Uh, that's it for gaming pickups. Uh, I also did I uh, want to kind of throw this out here is that um, one of the movie trading companies, or no, not movie trading companies, Half Price Books, uh, was having 50% uh, off, or excuse me, 50 cents for all clearance DVDs. So I just picked up uh, a handful of random ones, uh, basically anything that jumped out at me or uh, was anime related. So I picked up Sigma 6, uh, Ninja Showdown because, come on, it's Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. Um, picked up two Witch Hunter Robins. Now they are not consecutive. Uh, one's, this is actually the first one, which is one through five, and then this one is 11 through 14. So I've gotta get the middle somewhere, but for a dollar, I've got two of the sets. Uh, picked up Spiral, What Are the Blade Children? Just because I looked at the back and went, oh, that sounds kinda cool. Um, picked up Mobile Suit Gundam, Mobile Suit Gundam Wing W, Mobile Suit, which, whichever. But I've never watched a Gundam anime, so I figured I'd give it a shot for 50 cents. It was well worth it. Now this is Volume 2 of Gunslinger Girl. Now the reason that I got it is because this is, uh, from what I understand, a little bit better of a version than I've been able to find online. So once I get caught up to episode 6, I'll watch 6 through 9 on here, or I'll track down the rest of them. And the last one, one that I <coughs> never thought I would find. Never in a million years. And I still haven't found the, 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 the one that leads up to this. But this is Tales of an Ancient Empire. Now this is done by Albert Pune, and I probably pronounced his name wrong, and I deeply apologize. But I found him on uh, Facebook, he's a super cool guy, uh, and this is the spiritual successor to The Sword and the Sorcerer, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, but once again, 50 cents, couldn't let it go. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, go ahead and comment below on anything you've seen here, and as always, play on!